is good everybody welcome to an epic my day of toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be discussing some people that i think could win the 2020 royal rumble now this actually comes with some pretty big weight now i don't want to brag about anything but the past three years i have predicted the royal rumble winner straight up the first video I ever did on my channel was my 2017 Royal Rumble predictions. I predicted Randy Orton to win. Randy Orton went on to win. In 2018, I predicted Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura went on to win. And in 2019, Seth Rollins won. Now, I will be fair, all three of those weren't that, you know, they weren't that unpredictable. I feel like all three of those guys were pretty, now, I wouldn't say totally predictable, but, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like it was kind of easier to read. This year, I feel like it's a bit muddy. I feel like there is a lot of people that could actually win this thing. And today we're going to discuss a few guys that I think could win the Royal Rumble and just some potential guys that could get up there. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into my list. I'm just going to show you the guy and kind of explain why I think he could win the Royal Rumble and just dive into it. While we approach the Royal Rumble coming on January 26th, I am going to be doing videos revolving around the Royal Rumble and stuff like that. Like we'll probably do, you know, potential entrance, like surprise entrances. We do that every year. We do other things like that. So be on the lookout for those videos as well if you're interested in that. But let's just shut the hell up and get into this thing. So the first guy I think that could win the Royal Rumble, guys, is going to be none other than my boy KO. I think Kevin Owens has a legitimate shot at winning the Royal Rumble. Still need to update the tattoos. Look at that. I got a lot of space I got to fill in, and he also got that new tattoos. Jesus Christ, man. Can I, can I get something right? But Kevin Owens is definitely a guy that I think could win the Royal Rumble. I also apologize for the damn tripod. It's like, I, you know, the other, the other day mine was snapped in half. And now I had to use my other tripod, and I hate it. It's so stiff, bro. I free. I can't stand it. And then it like, at the same time, it's kind of loosey goosey. It's just weird. It's jackassery. But anyways, Kevin Owens, I think, would be a perfect fit. You know, the way he's portrayed on television right now, I could definitely see him winning. I, I guess he could go after the WWE Championship. KO is. Uh, I think KO's a good choice. I think it's a really good first choice. I think that, you know, the way he's been portrayed over the last few weeks and months, I think that this would be an excellent pick. I am a huge fan of Kevin Owens, as you guys know, so this would be totally okay with me. Next up, guys, we do have sort of a shocker, and I know it kind of is kind of weird or it kind of doesn't make sense, but Adam Cole, baby, the NXT champion, I can actually see this, uh, see this happening. I wish they would do this. They need to have this where, you know, an NXT champion or a big-time NXT superstar comes out and ends up, I think it'll happen one day. I'm not sure if it'll be this year, but one day they need to actually have this take place. You know, NXT guy comes out and they're like, oh snap, and then he, you know, he overcomes all the odds, lives it all up, and overcomes everybody on the main roster and wins the Royal Rumble. I think it's a great way to build up a star immediately. You want somebody to care about somebody pushing out an NXT champion or a big time NXT talent to win the Royal Rumble would be excellent. I saw in the odds maker that Finn Balor is still a top choice to win the Royal Rumble. I don't really see that as as amazing as that would be for me. I, I still don't see that happening, but Adam Cole would be an excellent choice, and uh, that would be a perfect way to introduce him to the main roster and have him. I, I, you could still have him as NXT champion. He could end up dropping the championship to Velveteen Dream or somebody on his way to WrestleMania. You could easily do that. Or maybe have Adam Cole lose the NXT championship the night before, and then the next night come out like, no, hell no, nah, bro. I'm going to go get that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for the main championship. And then he would thus win the Royal Rumble. So that's my two selections right now. I just thought that would be a pretty cool fantasy booking idea. Next up, guys, we have everyone's choice, everyone's crazy choice. I'm going with CM Punk. Now, CM Punk, you know, you got to put him up here. I feel like he's in every single Royal Rumble predictions video. They're like, ah, oh, CM Punk's going to return, and CM Punk's going to win the Royal Rumble, bro. But this year, it actually has some, some, some legitimacy, right? I mean, it has some legitimacy with all this backstage and WWE Fox bullshit. You know, we're, we're right here. We're like this close to getting CM Punk back in the ring. While I'm not a massive, just huge fan of CM Punk, I still like the guy. I think that this would be a really amazing moment in wrestling history. I think that this could be a great moment that people talk about for years, kind of like the Hardys return and stuff like that. I think it would be excellent for that. I think it would just give chills everywhere. Can you imagine the cult personality hitting the freaking Titan Tron? coming out, winning the Royal Rumble at entrant number 30 or something like that. 
think that would be an excellent move. I think it would be, in, it would make for an incredible moment, and that would be excellent. So Kevin Owens, Adam Cole, and CM Punk are my first. Oh. Kale just can't freaking stand up trying to embarrass me on live television. Next up, guys, we have Daniel Bryan. Now, Daniel Bryan is another guy that I think could win the Royal Rumble. You know, just the way he's been booked, he's got a lot of momentum coming into this thing. After his little deal with the, with Bray Wyatt, I think that this could be an excellent shot for him, a shot of momentum. It seems like the crowd is really loving Daniel Bryan again after fighting The Fiend, after turning back face. This would be huge for Daniel Bryan. I think everybody would be backing it, you know, with his story. I know that we're a little bit removed from his entering return, but I think it would still work. I think people would still get behind it. Everybody loves Daniel Bryan. And I don't think that it would cause any controversy. Everybody loves Daniel Bryan. It would be a really, really simple task for that. So I think Daniel Bryan's easily up there. I think he's up in the Royal Rumble odds, so that is one. Next up, guys, we have a returning legend, and we have the Rated R Superstar Edge. Now, Rated R Superstar Edge is, you know, he's rumored to be returning. He's rumored to be making some noise and coming back, supposedly. I think he's denied all these rumors, but you know what? So did the Hardy Boys. You know, a lot of people try to deter people when they're, you know, they're trying to come back to WWE or to back to wrestling in general. And I think that Edge would be fantastic. You know, kind of like he did in 2011. Um, I think he has been cleared. I think he could wrestle. I think that, you know, if he had one more short stint, kind of like Batista, uh, I would like to see him go longer than that, though. I feel like Batista's run was too short. But I think that it, it would be amazing. I would love it. I love Edge. I think he's fantastic. Probably one of my top favorites of all time, somewhere in the top 10 or maybe even 15. I don't know. But he's fantastic, man. He's, he's excellent. Edge could easily come out there and win it. I could see it happening. I think even the odds pre predictors, yeah, the, the, the odds predictors have him on the list. So I think that he could easily win. And I think it would make for a great moment as well. Much like CM Punk, it probably wouldn't be as big as CM Punk. It would be amazing and epic. Yes, it would. I would totally mark out. But uh, winning the thing would be John Brown awesome, and I could definitely see that happening. Now, these next two guys are probably up there with Kevin Owens in terms of who I think is actually going to win. Now, the, the, these last four is like potential. I think Kevin Owens is a real possibility. These, these last two are a strong, strong possibility. I really feel like these guys could win the Royal Rumble. And the first one is the big dog, Roman Reigns. Now, Roman Reigns, uh, you guys know that he had to walk away, you know, back last October. He had to walk away, and he came back at WrestleMania 35 to fight Drew McIntyre. Now, the thing is... Is, is that since returning, this man has not been in a big-time program. He hasn't been in anything meaningful. He hasn't really done much of anything as far as the main event scene goes. He's been fighting in trash feuds. He's been doing a lot of just weird and awful angles and taking on stuff that nobody really cares about. So I think all of this has been to build the man up. I mean, he's been winning every feud since he returned. I mean, what did he ever lose a feud before? But you guys know what I mean. Drew McIntyre, Elias, Shane McMahon, Trash Corbin, just a bunch of these lower level feuds, the, you know, Eric Rowan, all these lower level feuds. And so they built him back up. He has a ton of momentum. So I think this is all feeding into the case for him to win the Royal Rumble, go into WrestleMania and defeat the Fiend. That's what I think would happen if they were to book Roman Reigns to win the Royal Rumble. I would not be shocked. I don't think it would be well received. I don't think people would like it, but I think that uh, it, it just seems like that's what's in the card. So I could totally see the big dog winning the Royal Rumble, uh, going on to WrestleMania, defeating the Fiend fiend dethroning the fiend and i would not be shocked one damn bit now before we get into my last figure guy that i have right here i do want to throw in a wild card i think i don't know why but i feel like Cain Velasquez has a really strong shot, and I, I am not big on Cain Velasquez. I don't want him in my wrestling. I just, I, I think it's just a weight. Like, why do we need this? Like, build up actual wrestlers. I know he's wrestled in the indies, and he's done little things here and there, but I'm talking about homegrown WWE talent or homegrown NXT talent. You know, take care of your talent that's been here. Take care of the talent that everybody loves and adores in the audience. So I think that they could easily push that man and give him the Royal Rumble win, go on and, you know, get back his victory or get back his L that he lost to Brock Lesnar and uh, that could be a real possibility as well. I would hate to see that. That would that would probably ruin the Royal Rumble for me to be honest with you, but it's got to be a you know, it's got to be serious consideration. You got to actually put that in your skull and think about it. That would be awful though. I'd hate that. And my last pick though for a main roster guy, a regular roster guy, I'm going with Mustafa Ali. Now, it honestly writes itself if you want to be able to book things correctly. Do you guys remember way back at Money in the Bank almost a year ago or I guess almost 7 
eight months ago, maybe. I, I don't freaking remember, bro. Mustafa Ali climbs the ladder. He's got the briefcase in hand. He's about to freaking retrieve the money in the bank briefcase. What the hell happens, Brad? Brock Lesnar comes down, takes him down, beats the shit out of him, and goes up and wins the Money in the Bank briefcase going on and winning the championship. And what the hell happened to Mustafa Ali? Nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, this guy has been... He, he got sidelined for Kofi. He had the injury, and Kofi got all the glory. He then was that close to winning money in the bank, and Brock Lesnar ended up winning it and costing him and coming out from under the nose and winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. This man deserves the WWE Championship. It writes itself. The man who cost him the money in the bank, the guy who cheated and illegally got the briefcase, Mustafa Ali, wins the Royal Rumble from the Iron Man spot. Put that bitch in there at one, two, three, four. Have him go the rest of the way. Overcome somebody at number 30. Maybe beat Roman Reigns at number 30. You know what I'm saying? It's down to him and Roman Reigns. He overcomes Roman Reigns. Mustafa Ali wins the Royal Rumble, goes on to WrestleMania, defeats Brock Lesnar, and is your WWE Champion. Writes itself. There you go. There's your WrestleMania match for Mustafa Ali and the Royal Rumble. Literally writes itself. It literally wrote itself with the way you portrayed it on television. Way to uh, boost up Mustafa Ali, get him in the main light, even though I think he's in the main light. Every time you put this guy on television, he's tearing down the house. Every time you put him in a good match, I mean, he, tear, he tears it down, man. So that is my last pick that could potentially win the Royal Rumble. I, got, I gave you guys seven different guys who could win it, and I think one of the people who are going to win the Royal Rumble is standing in this video right here. So go ahead and screenshot that. It's going to be one of these seven men, and if it's not then uh, I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Seven potential Royal Rumble winners for you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of my picks as well as your own picks. Who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble in 2020? I can't wait for the Royal Rumble. It is my favorite pay-per-view. And January 17th, I think, will mark the three-year mark of my channel, which is absolutely ridiculous. Three years on the freaking thing. It just makes me freaking sick. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.